Have you driven the Audi RS e-tron GT? No, I have not. It's strange because the only Audi I have ever owned is a first generation Q7 when okay. that was all the rage. Yeah. Post disposing of that one, I don't think I've ever driven an Audi. Okay, so you've got to drive this one. It's all electric. It's yeah. interesting. Uh, let's see what your petrol head take on electric is. What kind of torque does this put out? Like must 850 be 850 mm. Uh, if so, you put your foot down now. Yeah. That's how empty space. Maybe I'll just drive slower so that we have more time. Yeah. yeah. So if you do get N2 and you want to do launch control in the car, <laughs> no, I'm in Bombay City. <laughs> <laughs> you have a crazy collection of cars. Well, I'll. Small, the, small the, collection the, because the you specify. The crazy collection of cars is Dulkers. Okay. I, I have a few cars that I like to drive. Since I'm not somebody who has a lot of disposable time, mm. if I had to, like, if I have that one free day mm. and it's a driving day, mm. I'd probably pick my E30. Welcome to another episode of History on Wheels brought to you by Bredestein Tires. I'm Renuka Kirpalani and I'm taking you on a very interesting journey. To accompany me I have a cool car and a very reliable partner. I'm talking about my Bredestein Tires. Now Bredestein is a globally renowned company known for their high performance tires. Here's a fun fact. Did you know in 1999 they actually got designer Giorgetto Giugiaro to design a set of tires called Sport Tack for them and that's why they have that sleek and sporty design. Well that collaboration has gone on to set them on a path of design excellence. Well, we have more fun facts like this and some crazy questions that we're going to ask our special guest today and if he gets them right, he gets to win a great hamper from Bredestein. So let's get going on our journey. The car on today's show is all about the future. It's electric, just like the star we have on today's show. Yes, his presence lights up the screen. Every roll of his leaves an impression in your heart. But he's extremely versatile. He's not only an actor, he's a director, he's a producer, he's been a playback singer as well. He's won a national award. He does Malayalam films, Tamil films, Telugu films and even Hindi films. His latest movie is going to be a Hindi film and we're going to talk about that. But today we're going to talk a lot more about a shared common passion, cars. We're so happy to welcome to our show Prithviraj. Before we dive into the conversation with Prithvi Raj, let's dive into Audi's electric history for just a moment. Audi's electric history began in the most remarkable way with the Audi R18 Quattro LMP1, which just dominated the Le Mans track between 2012 and 2014. This car was a race winner in every way, and it was what set the stage for Audi's electric future. Because in 2009 is when they actually unveiled the e-tron moniker for the first time at the International Motor Show in Germany, where there was an R8 e-tron concept car. But it was only a concept. The actual foray into the real world with the e-tron badge was with a plug-in hybrid, which was the A3 Sportback in 2012. It took Audi an entire decade to actually launch their first all-electric car, and that came in 2019 with the Audi e-tron Quattro SUV. Yes, their first all-electric car was an SUV, and with its combination of performance, desirability, drivability, and sustainability, it became a runaway success and set the stage for Audi's electric future. Well, Audi did exit Le Mans, but they still continue racing in the Formula E series, which is an all-electric series, and it allows them a great base for all the innovation that goes into their electric car on the roads. As of today, Audi have five electric car on the road, but they plan to make that 20 by 2025. To 
today we have the superstar of the e-tron range this is a really hot car and another car that has got wide acclaim world over and of course it's a flaming hot car for a flaming hot star Prithviraj on our show today. Welcome Prithviraj. Thank you so much for being on History on Wheels brought to you by Fredestein Tires. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of your show. I've I've been following your show for a long time actually. Yeah. I'm I'm blushing now. <laughs> and, I, and that's just not History on Wheels even the ones you've done before this. Yeah. I thank you. Yeah. So so very very obviously then you are a car fanatic because those <laughs> are the people that follow that show. Yeah, I like cars. Yeah. <laughs> So it's pretty tough to pick out that one incident that made me fall in love with automobiles but you know there's this distinct memory uh, dad used to have this old Mercedes a W122 oh, and okay, nice. uh, we li- used to live in Chennai back then every sunday he used to drive us out uh, my mom brother and myself to uh, VGP beach yeah. which back then was hardly as crowded as it is today yeah and there was this desolate stretch of road which today is the uh, OMR ECR road yeah And for a brief while, it's no longer desolate, though. <laughs> it, it isn't, yeah. yeah. For a brief while, he used to uh, put me on his lap and drive the car. So I think we all did that. Yeah, I used to have this POV of this old W one two two Mercedes steering wheel, and used to let me place my hands on the steering, obviously, yeah. even though he was driving. And I used to keep seeing this POV of the steering wheel and the road. And uh, it, my dad used to drive pretty fast. So yeah, I think that sort of. ignited the love of driving yeah. and uh, then i guess it's been like a series of events where yeah like every school boy i used to have a poster of a countage on my on my wall and uh, that sort of culminated in me buying my first lamborghini yeah. so yeah it's a, it's it's i guess this is a story shared by pretty much every second <laughs> car lover so <laughs> but did your dad teach you to drive Yes, he taught me to drive actually. Okay, so he taught me to drive because he also had what I believe was the 36th Maruti 800 ever wow. registered in India. Wow. And you learned <laughs> driving on a Maruti 800? Yes. Superb. Huh? Yes, uh, I learned first to drive on that car. Yeah. Then the ambassador was like a graduation. <laughs> <laughs> But you know once you've driven those cars yeah. then everything else seems easy. Like if you've driven an Ambi, everything else is easy after that. Yeah, you know what I I kind of find these old cars easier to drive for some reason uh like these auto throttle blips and all that i'm just coming <laughs> to t- terms with yet you know so uh, so you did the column shift and yeah i mean i i understand the modern cars are more convenient they are faster but simpler i don't know yeah, yeah. very true there's yeah. nothing simple about these cars have you driven the audi rs e-tron gt no i have not it's strange because the only audi i have ever owned is a first generation q7 when okay. that was all the rage yeah. post disposing of that one i don't think i've ever driven an audi okay so you got to drive this one it's all electric it's yeah. interesting uh, let's see what your petrol head take on electric is so i mean i know that the classic petrol head argument against the electric vehicle is becoming redundant very fast yeah. because these things are becoming very very good i i drove a model s plaid uh, in the us huh. and uh, there is very little you can argue against that thing so drive this one <laughs> there there'll be even less argument after that let's trust see. me yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I do have a GT3, and you know, oh, it's, yeah, it's, that, have you driven the new GT3 RS? No, not the RS. I have a GT3 Touring because I wanted to be subtle. So, so you like the manual analog over all this new touchscreen? That's the craze right now. I do. Yeah, I do. I, this is one thing. The touchscreens are one thing that I think modern cars are getting it wrong. The tactile feeling of being able to push buttons and turn knobs. That's part of the driving experience. Yeah, you know, just you the do feel not of the click. Yeah, you don't want to be playing a video game while driving. Exactly. So, you can put your foot down now. Yeah. That's our empty space. That's the joy of an electric car, isn't it? That you just the torque yeah. that just comes in and and stays. You know, it just doesn't disappear. Exactly. I mean, yeah. it's just the, the wave never stops. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. It, it doesn't taper off at the top end. Yeah. There is no. like getting into it at the bottom end yeah and right. this is got like a two step transmission where the initial one is just a short gear for that ah so this kick. got okay yeah, yeah and yeah. then you know the sustained pull ah, that okay. you feel yeah so it's pretty insane yeah it's quite crazy 
would you buy an EV? I would definitely buy an EV. Yeah. I I definitely want an EV. I I don't think there is any reason for anyone to be turning your face away from EVs. Mm-hmm. Like I said, arguments against EVs are sounding more and more, yeah. you know, invalid as these cars become better and better. And any any crazy driving trips you've done while shooting movies? Because Dalkar was telling me about you know how he drove his car into some crazy place once. Oh yeah, I mean, like that. We so Kerala. Do you drive often to destinations? Almost always. Yeah. Yeah, almost always because usually when I go for shoot, uh, I either take my uh, I have a G wagon that mm-hmm. or a Nurus. Mm-hmm. So both of which you really don't want to be sitting anywhere else but the driver seat. Yeah. Uh, and it's strange, but I think driving a car sort of calms me down. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I love it too. And people tell me about Bombay and traffic, but I don't know. I it kind of just shut it all out and yeah. get into my Zen space when I'm driving. Yeah. Uh, it's it's that. meditative state for me it's my meditation you know? i can understand well, yeah. yeah i i completely relate to that you have a crazy collection of cars well I'll I, small the, small the, collection the, because the crazy specify. collection of cars is dulkars okay. I, i have a few cars that i like to drive and they're all about performance like you said the only one car that i saw was the the 760 and that's your back seat car yes so you drive very often then that means i do yeah do you let other people drive your car you're very finicky about your cars <sighs> good question you know i am a very bad back seat driver except <laughs> for this one guy who's yeah. been driving me ever since i was in my 10th grade yeah so this person called rajan who joined the family when i was in school yeah he's probably the only driver not that he is the world's best driver yeah <laughs> I hope he's not listening. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think he's the only guy who, when he's driving, I might sometimes doze off. Okay. Or else, I'm a very panicky, very finicky backseat driver, and I'm sure you are too. But look, I'm calm, so you're a good driver, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it, I think it happens to people who like driving that you're like. Yeah. And if you had to do a road trip now, mm-hmm. like, is there a bucket list road trip that you have? Yeah. So I mean, I've been putting it off uh, for so long. I really have Iceland on my list. uh because i mean you keep getting invited to these ice yeah. drives so i want to yeah. club that and a road trip yeah uh, oh my god if you have in, just go for that ice drive you, uh, yeah, it's I a definitely. no miss experience yeah i think yeah. I, i owe myself that yeah so what's the craziest driving trip you've done oh i've done a few actually so yeah. last year just just out of women fancy mm-hmm. my wife and me took off to scotland it's oh, a country yes. that i i love driving in mm-hmm. because some stunning roads mm-hmm. a lot of roads with no speed cameras mm-hmm. and uh, we did like about 2200 miles all around scotland wow lovely yeah in a, in a diesel bmw but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i mean the yeah. car didn't matter because yeah. it was just such a nice experience and people don't realize this as a couple doing a driving trip is such a great bonding exercise seriously yeah if if you if you like driving i would put it right up on the list uh to to do something to do as a bonding exercise i young. have to tell you a story about you no know, my wife hates being in cars yeah she is not a car person at all so i was in scotland once mm-hmm. and i managed to get a ferrari mm-hmm. uh a california mm-hmm. and uh so there is really beautiful roads going to isle of sky yeah. nice to stay yeah. and all that so i have my traction control off and i'm having fun <laughs> and she starts throwing up but yeah but for a passenger with traction control off yeah, yeah, yeah. and no the, the the climax is not that and she said no i'm not coming in this car mm-hmm. so then what happens is uh, my assistants were behind me in a hyundai so we switch to the hyundai and i'm driving the hyundai and my assistants <laughs> follow me all the way to isle huh? of sky huh? in a ferrari wow so this, yeah this is and i'm my my wife is going to kill me i said this story but yeah this actually <laughs> happened My assistant who's here, he was driving the Ferrari behind me. He must love you. No, I mean, imagine he's also not having fun because in the Hyundai I'm doing sixty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was. I hope you enjoyed driving. I kind of like the car actually. Yeah. Maybe you know. I'll, Maybe yeah. on <laughs> your first CV. Yeah. Yeah, could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's been a pleasure chatting with you. You've got a big movie coming up, Bade Mia, Chode Mia. Yes. Uh, what's that experience been like? So I've been away from Hindi cinema for a while, yeah. and uh, you know I 
full credit to Ali because he's the one who uh, presented me with the film. And in fact, when he came to me with the film, I was doing something when I thought I might not be able to do the film. Yeah. But he was so insistent that I do the character that he very thankfully moved a lot of things around. And finally, I'm part of the film, and I'm so glad I did it because uh, one. I think it's it's one hell of a fun film, mm -hmm. which when people see it, you will understand. And two, it's a fantastic character. I know I I don't get offered the bad guy very often, uh, and the bad guys are always the most fun. Yeah? <laughs> so yeah, so I I play the bad guy in it, and it really is a really cool bad guy. Yeah. Well, it's time to kick in that rapid fire round in the Racing Hearts Rapid Fire presented by Fred Stein Tires. Let's see if Prithvi can win that hamper from us. A couple of easy questions to ease you in, and then we'll give you the tough one. Uh -huh. Ice or easy? You know, ice. But after today, it's becoming a very close competition. Manual or automatic? Manual. I mean, that's the one thing that's still holding ice, you know, up above EV for me because I, I still can't. Roll my own gears. Yeah. <laughs> so. Naturally aspirated or turbo? NA. NA. Yeah. Okay. Do you feel nitrogen in your tires or regular air? Nitrogen. Audi. Do you know what the four rings stand for? Oops. You know what? I knew this. I forgot. <laughs> so I lose that question. <laughs> okay. One point up. The Audi RS e-tron GT. Do you know what car it shares its platform with? Yeah, the Taycan. <laughs> ah, see, see, you're already gaining back that ground. <laughs> By the way, Audi Foring stands for the Auto Union or the Union of Companies yes. that formed yes. Audi. So Audi, Horsch, uh, DKW, and yeah. Wanderer. Yeah, uh, that's what it stands the union, for. Union, yeah. Yes. And is the interior of the Audi RS e-tron GT 100% vegan? True or false? True. Yes. Yeah, I read so this. There yeah. you go. So you got our tough <laughs> questions one off, and yeah. we can happily give you this hamper. Thank you. Uh, we're very happy to present this to you, and I'm sure this is something that you are going to love, and it's going to be up there on your mantle. Yes, but thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for being on History on Wheels with us. Not at all. Pleasure, pleasure talking to you. We really enjoyed having you, and all the best for the movie. Thank you. Thank you so much.